one, Tarnation! Uh, I meant to do that. Howdy folks, this is Apple Geek, and here I am with the one that uh, a lot of you guys have been waiting for for a very long time. I'm finally watching the next Equestria Girls special, and uh, this is one that uh, I have had the title leaked to me numerous times. Obviously, this aired a long time ago, so it's kind of hard to avoid. Uh, the special is known as Roller Coaster Friendship, and that is really all I know about this. I, I don't have any information about the plot, story, anything of the sort. I've just been told that it's a really cute, funny story. So. I would say if it's anything like uh, Forgotten Friendship was, it's going to be amazing. So, yeah, that's all I got to say in this. So, without further ado, let's give this a watch. Roller Coaster Friendship, starting now. I like this theme song. I want to. I feel like there's a longer version of that I want to hear. What? what? Equestrian. Is everyone dressed like they're not? Dressed? Uh, how? What? What? You keep what? Changing your mind about the costumes, Vignette Valencia. Who are you? Do you know what it means to be in charge of public relations for this park? It's my job to make sure the world knows how amazing Equestria Land is going to be. And in two weeks, when there's 50,000 people here for opening day, the last thing they'll see before they leave at night will be this light parade. And by extension, your costumes, which apparently do not exist oh. as of this moment. Try to turn this into a be Disney theme park? <laughs> be yourself. <laughs> do you even have a philosophy? GWIQ. Guess what? I quit. <gasps> I need a stress salad! <laughs> stress salad! Where am I gonna find a new costume designer for the light parade with only two weeks left? I'm not promoting you. Uh, Rarity? How are they calling this Equestria Land? How does this become... Everything the way I how did this become common knowledge? Or is it just that much of a coincidence? Ah, it's another one of those magic orbs! Oh no, yes! Oh no. Uh-oh. What is this power? Hey, did somebody install a new app on my phone? Huh? Well, that's an interesting feature. I like it. Guess it's true. There really is an app for everything. <laughs> Anything? Nothing. You? Uh -uh. So what do you? Somebody has unspilled beans at this table, and it's not me. What if I rainbow that cloud sparkler sensei shimmer? Spill it. Rarity and I applied for summer jobs at the new theme park. Ah. <laughs> Wait. Will you get to go there for free? Actually, Probably. They'd pay us to go there. <laughs> <laughs> words, Pinky. Use your words. Yes, it's not that I'm nervous, but Applejack, you're perfect for the job. And well, uh -huh. my resume is less apple centric. <laughs> mm. We'll be together. I got a good feeling. Hmm. No missed calls while we were talking about caramel apples. <sighs> Shall we practice answering our phone and sounding calm? Yeah, she's definitely gonna get there. <laughs> that was about as calm as Pinkie Pie on cake day. One new email. Point proven. You open yours first. No, you open yours first. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, okay. Same time. One, two. Too late. I opened mine. <laughs> They said I'm overqualified for Caramel Apple Girl. Aww. They want me to be lead parade costume designer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> called that. You haven't even started and you already got promoted. That's gotta be a record. An Academy record? 
but I'm really happy for you, Rarity. Oh, hmm. there must be a mix-up, darling. Obviously, the internet mailman gave you the wrong letter. Aww. I know that's not how it works, but I'm trying to cheer you up. <laughs> Technically, Rarity didn't get the job either, since she got a different job. So they're probably about to send you another email with your promotion. Uh -uh. <gasps> no. Just a sale at Stinky Bottom's Discount Hat Emporium. Forty <laughs> percent off. How can you pass no, that up? Not helping. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to accept it without you, obviously. <laughs> what? You cannot let this opportunity pass you by, Rarity. Think of all those vision boards, the late night sewing. This has been your dream since since kindergarten. Oh. Preschool, actually. Oh. But that's not the point. My mind is made up. We plan to spend the summer together, and that's what we're going to do. Right? <laughs> You're taking the job, and that's fine. Okay, if you insist. Oh, I'm gonna be a gift designer. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well. All right. I probably shouldn't have quit my old job this morning, huh? I'm sure they haven't replaced you already. <laughs> what are? <laughs> oh. eh? My name is Vignette it Valencia, and to answer probably wouldn't be too hard to get that job back in the way it looks, but, but mm. no, I do not think I'm better than you just because I have three million followers on Snapchat. Uh. You're up to three million now. I mean. Yes, uh, Social yes, status. I, I am familiar with your online repertoire. I have a good feeling about you, Rare. Oh, you have to let me call you Rare. It's the perfect uh, name for lead parade costume designer. Not a mm, caramel apple girl. I don't even know why you applied for a job like that. Not with a Snapgab feed like yours. Oh. Mm. Obviously, I looked you up. Great pictures, by the way. That gingham and linen sundress caught my eye, and your follower count is impressive. For someone just starting out, of course. But Aww. I can already tell you've got magic inside. Magic? <laughs> okay. The Light Parade is the most important event in the park. Over a hundred cast members, and you are going to make them look perfect. <sighs> it is a big I opportunity. Don't but, put anything on that table, especially uh, your phone. No reason, just a super important rule I made up, okay? Hmm. Interesting. What are you. Applesauce? Rarity. Applejack! Darling! How's the work on the farm? Um. Fantastic! <laughs> I could not be happier making foot stomp and applesauce the old fashioned way with my family. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> so happy for you. And I'm happy for you <sighs> and your new job too. Oh yes, well <laughs> Not all it's cracked up to be. Oh I'm sure you won't slip up. Is she gonna hire Applejack as an assistant? Oh, well, uh, I, I was calling because you see, well it's not that I'm <laughs> nervous or anything silly like that. Oh no, I, not at all. I was wondering if if you and the girls wanted to come on opening night to see the parade. <laughs> VIP passes. You can cut the lines. You bet your britches, Missy. I wouldn't miss your big night for the world. <laughs> Applejack? Darling? Oh. Nice rainbow colored tracks, by the way. Oh, hey, uh, um, Indigo's app, I think the name is. Okay. Ah, diamond chair, silver spoon. What should we do first? Appaloosa Wild West Stunt Show? Nightmare Moon's on the castle? <laughs> now, Nightmare Moon's haunted cast. Oh, Rarity's overwhelmed. I have questions. She's understandable. I mean, she's all alone here without any of her friends, which is why I wouldn't have taken the job. But that's just me. Uh, point is, we're here to support Rarity. Somebody's popular. Uh, which character's that? <laughs> is that a character, silly. That's been yet. She's famous on Snapchat. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, what? what? Those faces! <laughs> and, uh, why? A lot of pictures of her Welsh corgi named Yas Queen. And she's friends with like every awesome athlete in the world. Don't look at me. I only follow bots that post interesting science. Of course you do. And these are her pictures. Chillin' Sandy style. You know how I do. Okay. I came, I saw, I vintaged. 
What? <laughs> okay, somebody tell me why this picture has 20,000 likes. Hashtag bangs. Uh, I don't know. Spending all that time just to look good in the okay. picture is my idea of fun. There you are. I, mm. Here comes the lead parade costume designer. Guilty as charged. <laughs> so, you've been here solo without your best friends all this time. How can we help? Hold that thought. Vignette! Over here! You know Vignette Valencia? I work for her. Do I know her? <laughs> Why, she's my best friend at the park. <gasps> Selfie! Oh, can we use your phone? Mine's been acting super Oh, weird. no. Thanks. You're the best. Stop at the dark faces. Mm. Oh, somebody's jealous. <laughs> this is Vignette Valencia. She runs PR for the park, and she's my boss. I told you not to use the B word. I'm your friend. Yeah. I gets to boss you around. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Uh, this is Sunset, Shimmer, Rainbow Dash, Pinkie Pie, Twilight, Sparkle, and Fluttershy. And, uh, what? <laughs> and Applejack. Sorry, you were standing around. Uh, I, I, I didn't see you. Hmm. <sighs> They're my best friends. So, I thought you'd like okay. to Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, fun fact. Uh, we performed together in a band called the Rainbooms. Rainbooms? Why is that familiar? A hundred thousand followers? Focused consumer-centric demographic too? Does your curated content consistently aggregate across multiple platforms? Songs together! Thank you, Pinky. Thank you. Uh the rain booms? Shh. Are you ready? B Y B B. Be yourself. But better. That's been my power phrase since I started my first company. A middle school girl selling artisanal handmade mascara. What is in that just melted crayons? Hey, naysay is gonna nay. But I say. They say what? 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 B B. Um. Hmm. People will be watching us. All of them. What do you say? Well, if it's gonna help out rarity. Mm. Why not? Sure. <laughs> I suppose I'd have like 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 <laughs> upload and post it, ladies. This will trend for sure. I'll mm. at you later with exact deeds. BYBB rare. V. Oh my. She's speaking <laughs> social media. I just. Mm. Right? It sure is something. Logistical question: How are we supposed to get our instruments? Uh, Vignette will handle everything. I got a question too. When okay. you said she's your best friend at the park, did you mean best friend, comma? At the park. Can I say that? <laughs> Listen, tonight's a huge opportunity. And not just for me now, but Wow, for okay. Us. Let's go see the park. <laughs> Aww. Honestly, I don't know why you're giving me your frowny eyebrows. Uh, it's nothing. Uh, well, uh, oh, it's something. <laughs> enjoy the park. I'm going to be super busy preparing for tonight. So, wow. let's meet in the staging area for sound check and run throughs. I have three minutes break at four o'clock, and I can give you two of them. BYPV! <laughs> Route! <Run, run. sighs> I've never seen yeah. Applejack this jealous. This is interesting. Like Rarity doesn't need us as much as you thought. So. <laughs> Should we practice for the parade? And into the hair it goes. Daunting, isn't it? We oh, you got this Fluttershy. Song by heart. Wouldn't you rather go have some fun? Unless you make a new song. Which you're probably gonna end up doing. Aww. Is that a twist way in the background there? I think it might have been. <sighs> pretty pretty, right? <laughs> what? Can you hear me over all the screaming? Not really. Sunset and Twilight, or Pinkie Pie, or anyone else in the entire park. <laughs> you look at it this way. It's the perfect opportunity to conquer. Oh, there's that girl. No, I don't think this is true. Can't I conquer something a little smaller first? Hey, oh. warm up before the big game. What did you have in mind? Dragonlance drag racing? The Appaloosa runaway train? Oh, Niagara Falls barrel flume? <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, this is like actually a map of a quest. What? What, what is going on here? The kitty coaster. Oh, poor Fluttershy. Oh, it's been a long time since I've been on a roller coaster. I missed them. Perfect. I just drew up. Love it. Now hurry up. I need these done yesterday. You were born for this rarity. Yeah, yeah, she was. Play a great show tonight. Excuse me, I know I am not seeing a lap zipper on that full fur. What? Jump! A lap zipper is simply a stuck zipper waiting to happen. Uh, this is what I'm up against. Number of questions increasing. Wh Wanna take a break and go get a caramel apple? I'd love to, darling, but I am a tad super insanely busy. <laughs> yeah, course. a little bit. I, I just thought... Uh, never mind. You're right. I wouldn't want to rain on your parade. Rain? I didn't plan for rain. Oh, no. 100 ponchos <laughs> Well, you know, they had... Planned to work together the whole summer and as, as friends, and now she's just kind of being left behind. So, do kind of feel bad for her. A four hundred foot vertical drop right into these loop doors and a corkscrew. You're probably super nervous about that. Where can I ride this coaster? And that next part where it goes backwards. Oh, those are some of the best ones. <laughs> And just Dash is the one freaking out! Oh my- Oh, hey Rose. That was it? This is an interesting turn of events. Kind of fun. Totally! That's why I didn't want to get off. I was just saying what you would have said. Right, right, right. You were very brave. Oh. You do. <laughs> oh, now what? Oh, CMCs. Apples, caramel apples over here. You. Red and green and everything in between. How how did microchips get the jobs? Caramel apple? Yes, please. Applejack. <laughs> you don't have to be the caramel apple girl. Nice. Vignette said she wanted cool nerd chic. I'd say she found it, wouldn't you? <laughs> wow. Okay. Um. Hey, Snips and Zales. And the, oh yeah, that elderly. That, okay, I don't know what her name is. Any chance have a knife or a samurai sword or several tiny but very sharp nail clippers? Sa what? What? Why are those the options? <laughs> I know what you're also, that caramel needs to be heated a little more. It's a little too. How can I ever thank you for sticky. coming up with such a brilliant idea for the parade? I don't understand. You want me to pretend I'm someone else tonight? Everyone in the band has a new role. It's part of my bold new vision. All caps, Helvetica 65. Fluttershy, bad girl. Face, what? Hair ripped tights. I've already commissioned an A-list graffiti slash sneaker artist to tag up a custom guitar. How do you feel about skulls? B Y B B. Uh, maybe I um shouldn't do it at all. Hmm. What yeah, are you gonna do? If collabing isn't your thing, that's that your life decision to make. But I just thought of a way for us both to get exactly what we want. You did? Uh oh. Of course! Getting what I want is what I do best, sweetie. Now say <sighs> cheese! Oh no, oh no. Sorry, Fluttershy. Oh. You'll thank me later. Okay. Um, excuse oh, me. Okay. What? So it's another version of this, like, pocket universe? Or, oh, there's the salad. Do you mind if I eat this salad? Yeah, go ahead. I'm feeling stressed. <laughs> well, it is a stress salad, so, uh... Step right up, don't be shy. Don't be, uh, yeah, flam, flam. flam. Prizes, we got prizes. What's Post those this plushies in the background? See giraffes? And, okay. Wow, 
This game does look easy. Would you look at uh, somebody who knows a thing or two about a thing or two? Either she's gonna get swindled or she's gonna figure out how to beat the game and just giving you the old bump beat him at the game. You in. These games are rigged. Mm -hmm. Slabless. Slabless. <laughs> of course. You know what's not rigged? The laws of physics. Assuming no air resistance and a vertical displacement of zero, horizontal displacement equals initial projectile velocity squared times the sine of twice the launch angle divided by the acceleration due to gravity. Please beat them at their own game. Yes! No, the yes! The drama. I can't watch. Oh, it's gonna flip off. That's not possible. Uh, not not you possible. We're pretty close, though. Maybe we should try one more time. Oh boy. <laughs> Twilight's gonna spend the rest of the day trying to beat that game. Finished. Interesting. Let there be lunch. <laughs> what? Maybe tonight uh, won't be a disaster after all. Should that have a battery pack on it? it mm. <laughs> Excuse me for a moment. Get her earth painting couch, man. She and some ice cream, stat. Hey, Rudy. <laughs> I wasn't having a meltdown. Who said I was having a meltdown? You were. Well, okay. Uh, have you seen Fluttershy? See, she went wandering off with Vignette and then just disappeared. Are you honestly asking me this right now? Oh, it's not that I don't trust Vignette. Rarity. Thinking. We're in a giant fun park with 50,000 people. Of course you can't find her. 50,000 people. Oh, looking at my costumes. Are you seriously not concerned about Fluttershy? Yeah. 100,000 individual eyeballs, Applejack. Well, if you ain't gonna worry about her, I will. Wow. Somebody get me a bigger pile of clothes to scream at you! <laughs> Come on! Yeah, yeah, really. All right, what's next? What are we doing? Um, Sunset, read their memories and figure this out what's going on. a perfect projectile trajectory, taking into account propulsion, gravity, and aerodynamic drag. <laughs> this gal. Bet you thought I forgot about friction, air drag, and varying initial velocities. Well, guess what? I didn't. What she said. Hundred times a job. Right. Please somehow prove that they've rigged this and then take all the prizes. Oh. Applejack! Yo. Sorry. Have you seen Fluttershy? Nobody's seen her all afternoon. Her phone's going straight to voicemail. I keep thinking something hmm. real bad might have happened. Lighten yeah, up, about Applejack. that. There's not always a villain with equestrian magic out to get us. But there I'm usually sorry. is. <laughs> Kinda used them all. <sighs> Did you have two left though? What? Mm -mm. I don't like to lose. <laughs> Applejack! Hey! I was just Who about is... to sing for like the time. Who's that girl? <coughs> Shh, nothing out of you. Uh, have you seen Fluttershy anywhere? Oh, she was. That seemed awful in your face. Okay, thanks. If you see her, tell her she's still on the roller coaster ride. Oh, is that, uh. Oh, no, that's just kids from school. Never mind. No, Brownie, no, no! This, this, this is definitely supposed to be a Disney theme park reference. I saw that. I'm a little concerned about what I'm seeing here. Pinkie Pie, don't tell me you're working for the park now, too. No, silly. Fun inspectors are freelance and don't get paid. And totally made up by me earlier today when I saw a little girl crying because she dropped her ice cream and I said to myself, Pinkie Pie, this place isn't as fun as it could be. Do you like the uniform? I made it out of things I found in the trash, but you can't even tell. Uh, so no, no, have no. Have you seen Just, Fluttershy anywhere? Thank you. Nope. Thank you for stopping. I have seen my deputy fun inspector. Ta-da! Now you have all access to the entire park. Deputy fun inspector. <laughs> 
Okay, Pinky is in rare form today. Mm. So close. I can't feel my fingers anymore. Fingers too bad. Looks the same. Is this real life? How long have we been No, it's just fantasy. Hey, listen, lady. How about you just take a parakeet and go home? It's not about the parakeet. You said it yourself. It's rigged. How about we get some ice cream? <laughs> You're right. And she'll just flip it back and it lands. Never even had a chance. And, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, would you look at that? Oh, well, every time. <laughs> oh, right. Every, after every hundredth ticket. I'm <laughs> suspect because she's Rarity's new best friend at the park. I'm not going crazy over a whole lot of nothing. What's that bag you got there? I, uh, you, you see, it, it's Who are just, you? it's a crime to fake security badges, you know. <clears throat> I'm a fake cop, but I can send you to real jail. But I, if you'll just how? Let me explain, if you're fake, I'm looking for my friend, and shh, hands on your head, no sudden moves, got that? Why didn't you tell me you were a deputy fun inspector? <clears throat> of course. <clears throat> I am so sorry about that, ma'am. Here's my workstation. It hasn't been fun inspected in years. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, my friend made this bad. He's a little airing out, maybe? No, an undercover fun inspector. Ah, she's got access to security cameras. Anyway, have fun not inspecting my workstation. <laughs> wink, wink. I... How many times do I have to say it? <laughs> what is up with this guy? Yeah, go for it, AJ. Mm -hmm. Rarity told me you're the coolest, smartest friend who knows. Uh, and she's gonna see another one disappear, right? It's, uh, it's true. I have a bold new vision for the rainbooms that you are going to love. The throwbacks. Capital T hashtag TBT throwback today, or for short T C T H T B T bracket TBT pronounced tuck tuck but You are represent the touchstones of cool throughout the ages. <sighs> I like it so far, and I assume I'll like what you say next. Rainbow <laughs> Dash, 50 sock hot sweetheart, poodle skirt, adorable blonde hair. How do you feel about shaving your head? I only ask because you'll definitely have to do it for the wig. Uh, no, there is no, no. Way anyone is shaving my head. No, no, no. B Y B B. B I A A T B. But I already am the best. <laughs> well, if you insist on just being that, wouldn't I agree with? Whatever. Then at least let me take a picture of the real you. Oh boy. Uh huh. Is Vignette zapping my friends with a magical phone? I knew yep. she was up to something. Just wasn't expecting something so magic and evil. <laughs> she makes them disappear, but where do they go? Yes. Oh man, are we trapped in a magical phone? Y yep. <laughs> you can eat that stress salad. <laughs> she knows what it is. One hour until wheels off, everyone. My <sighs> parade waits for no one. Tick tock, tick tock. Big night tonight, right? Our craft's the biggest of all time. Definitely the biggest of your life. I'm excited for you. You're not worried. Not that I'm worried. Unless you're worried, in which case I'm very, very worried. Not sure There's where this is ultimately to. going, We've but. Got to get rid of it faster than a pleated cargo skirt. <laughs> So, oh. I love everything you've done here. One no. thought. Do we want the costumes to have lights on them? You've got time. I think we should start from scratch. <laughs> BT Dub, no. every amazing fashion blogger and snap gap slip is going to be here tonight. No fresh. Really? Because I'm feeling fresh. Yeah. Why am I seeing neon pink and yellow on that dragon's tail? Is this a piece of legend or a safety vest? <laughs> what? <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> I suppose Applejack has better things to do than final fittings and sound check. Don't be mad at her. She's still out trying to find Rainbow Dash and Fluffy. Yeah, and you've been ignoring her the entire day. By the way. Do not tell me who to be aligned with! I know you're stressed, Rarity, but I'm sure you've got something totally amazing up your sleeve. You she doesn't have a sleeve. With amazing things up them, right? <laughs> Stop! Oh, uh, not Way Stop. to draw attention to yourself. Friends. Y'all keep doing what you're doing. Showing up them uh, clothes. Where 
have you been? Nobody go anywhere with uh -oh. me yet. Oh you no. Not no. really. Is she gonna get all of them? You can explain yourself after the parade. I'm sure no, Rarity. Vignette What's that is about? evil. Applejack! Shaken hair, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, really. Done something to Fluttershy. And I saw her from the security office when she made Rainbow Oh, uh, and she's she switched her phones to says it's a question mm -hmm. of magic. Oh, honey, delusional isn't your color. You're an autumn. If you're so innocent, <laughs> then how do you explain this? Say goodbye to your mannequin thing. Yep. And Mhm. Mm uh, hang on. Watch it. Disappear! <sighs> uh, I think I hash gabbed my snap tagger all in the. Uh, <laughs> I sound just like Granny Smith. <laughs> I saw your friends. They're in wardrobe and oh. they're fine. Yeah. Are you sure? And looking good in your costumes, by the way. Applejack, the parade is less than an hour away. This is bigger than the parade, Rarity. Nothing's bigger than the parade, Applejack. <sighs> I know you didn't just say that about your missing friends. Yeah, Rarity priorities. I you two sort this out amongst yourselves. <sighs> Applejack, admit it. You don't care about my parade. My parade? This isn't about you. She's done something yeah. to our friends. Yeah, Applejack was very supportive this of you this whole time. Or about you and Vignette. Ever since she gave me this opportunity, you've been jealous because she sees my potential, but she didn't hire you. You guys, oh. stop. This isn't Ouch. like you. Yeah, You're no so kidding. You can't even see she's using you. You only like her because she's always blowing smoke up your chimney. But that's what she does to everyone. You're not special. <sighs> Oh. Maybe I should just go. Maybe yeah. Should... That crossed a little bit of a line there. Applejack, wait. I mean, she didn't mean it that way, but ouch, still. Waiting is for waiters, ladies. We're better off without her. We the throwbacks, <laughs> formerly known as the Rainbows. Hang on. Why does we include you? Obviously, somebody yes. needs to fill Apple Juice's spot, and since it's Apple Juice, minute, we are lucky to have someone with as much vision and talent as well. Uh, you? And not just that, but we'll be playing a song I wrote. Naturally. Okay, one, you are not in the band, and two, yes, thank you. We are not performing without Applejack. Which thank you. Which is her name, by the way, not Apple Juice. Thank you. And you know what? She's not usually one to make things up, like. Ever. Yeah. So Applejack's honesty. Said about you. <laughs> and. It's true. Yep. And bye bye. Now let's see if this equestrian magic is all it's cracked up. To How do you know about this? I. Now then. Oh. That's no. 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 Oh. Oh no. Flutter bat outfit. Oh. And there comes you. Oh, rare. You're not gonna believe this. Yeah, you're really not gonna believe this. What am I looking at? Your friends, but better. Now we can make the parade exactly how I want it. How you want it? Yeah. You said you hired me for my vision. Mm -hmm. Well, I needed your vision to bring out my vision, but now there's an app for that. Um. And yet, what what is going on here? Where are my friends? Like trapped in the internet as zeros and ones or erased from existence or something? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what? Yeah. See, like my phone became magic or something, and now it has this power where whenever I take a picture of something and it disappears. And then I can customize them with a swipe of my finger and make them real again, or real enough. But hey, blah blah blah. OMG, I'm boring myself to death just talking about this Stop stuff. Stop bring talking. Up my friends this instant! Thank you. Fine. If you want to be with them so bad. I'll do you one last favor. You're welcome. And there, there she. Mm, uh, there I she can't goes. We're trapped in Vignette's phone. 
We're no strangers to getting stuck in magical objects. Dude, this is true. Is Rarity and Applejack are still free. Maybe they can get us out of here. Yeah, we well. We have to stop fighting first. We can't just sit around hoping to get rescued. If we're in the internet, we can hack our way out. Well, How? I can. How? How? I hope Rarity and Applejack are okay. I wish we knew what's going on out there. Sorry, Rare. Guess you're not so rare after all. If that's the internet, it looks very boring, I just gotta say. <laughs> oh. Underestimate a good accessory. <laughs> Stop unmajiking my magic thing. <laughs> I can't believe I listened to you over Applejack. Yes. Hey! Uh, Eugene H., whatevs. I don't need you anyway. Okay, so she's still out there. For me. I am now the lead costume designer because our former lead costume designer is being HBW. Herself, but worse. Now pretend I just gave you an inspiring speech and get back to work! Yeah. She needs to be fired. Oh, hey, Fleur. Be... The parade's about to start. Okay, well, oh, AJ and Rarity, you're going to have to make up and fix so all of this. Maybe none of this would have happened. <sighs> I really screwed things up with Rarity. Yeah, well, it's more her fault than yours. It, it, as far as I'm concerned right now. Don't go! Uh, you were right. I got carried away and let this stupid parade become the only thing that mattered to me. And I let Vignette manipulate me with false flattery into forgetting what really matters. My friends. Mm. Come on now. Your talent puts you so far beyond the need for flattery. Stop flattering me! <laughs> I'm <just finished> apologizing! <laughs> I'm sorry I lost sight of why we applied for jobs here in the first place. And I'm sorry I got jealous. There we go. All this time I thought I was being honest with you about not liking Vignette. I wasn't being honest with myself. I felt <sighs> like I was losing my best friend. You didn't. Aww. Apple goes to the end. <laughs> Aww. Oh, my friends! Vignette has them all trapped in the internet. She confessed. We have to get them out. We have to save them! <laughs> what? We've been wasting all this time chin wagging about feelings. <laughs> Twilight? It how, worked. After how did we're stuck in Vignette's phone? Okay. I found a way to hack her Apple Popper app to root a VoIP connection to your IP address. Uh, 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 I, uh, Got it. Listen, we've come up with a plan to set all this right. <laughs> there are no words for this. Install a virus that creates a backdoor admin account, which you can use to reset all the permissions on her phone and make a proxy backup. <laughs> Sadly, I understood all of that. I can rub two sticks together. Hang on. I think I can hear you talking. What? Yeah. What? How? Really, y'all? How? What? Oh, the phone just teleported us into some random white room in the park. We were just sitting in a white room. <laughs> <laughs> Did Vignette take your picture just now? I was just minding my own business making perfect caramel apples when suddenly Vignette saw me Not and perfect, said I wasn't but... as cool a nerd as she thought. Uh, then she took my picture <laughs> and I ended up here violating all known laws of space and time. <laughs> Guys, this is bad. Yeah, Vignette well, Vignette is on magic the doesn't and she obey those laws. To change whatever she doesn't like. What happens if she decides she doesn't like the crowd? Everyone in the park is watching that parade. If her phone teleports that many people into this tiny room at the same time... <gasps> Squish! Mm. Our friends are in that crowd. Sweetie Belle is in that crowd. We've got to stop them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're here, too. You realize if we stop the parade, no one will see all your hard work. Someone reminded me that none of that matters without my friends. Are they gonna actually trend? Oh. Her. I'm sure Vignette's getting more corrupted by equestrian magic every minute. Are they going to actually transform themselves into the versions that Vignette wanted? I, the, the, the sirens, I... Mm. That's why you're not in the band. Okay, time for the real rain booms. 
that can be tweaked with the flick of the finger. And here we go. <gasps> no! Thank you. Rain on your parade. <laughs> but I'm afraid this evening is cancelled. Now turn off your phone and hand it over. What? Are you honestly asking a social media star to hand over her phone? <laughs> yeah, yes. She is. Rarity. This is the version of your friends that will be popular. I have the metrics to back that up. No, you don't. <laughs> the real. It's what you show people online. This is your chance to be everything you've Wrong. always wanted. No, it's a chance to look like everything I've always wanted. What I really want has been right in front of me the whole time. My friends. Yes. Oh, here we go. We're going Sailor Moon. And in front of thousands of people, no less. <laughs> no amount of online success is worth it without my real life friends to share in it. Wow. Loving these outfits. <laughs> Whoa! I, okay, that's a new power. What have you done? She fried your phone. Someone telling me I made a perfect outfit, but I'd say you got a bit carried away. Uh, just, just, just I a little. guess so. You guess so? <laughs> you created virtual holograms of our friends and almost sent an entire crowd of people to Squish City. Uh oh. But BYBB, it's not a bad thing to want to be better, but not at the expense of other people, and especially not your friends. Friends? Huh. I have three million followers. You don't have any no real friends. friends. How pathetic is that? Hmm. You've got one. If you want, make that two. And once again, we've reformed the villain. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe the parade ain't ruined after all. Yep. We do still have our real instruments up there. Yep, I like I said we're gonna get a song out of this. One way or another. If you're up for us, a blemish. The surface of a perfect happy pit. Just add a fancy filter. That's an easy fix. But <laughs> that too, really? Really? Are the people who you love? Don't forget those ponies. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Or you'll miss it. Life's best is always free. Don't lose sight of what's important. Trixie! More than you can see. There's so much to strive for. So many friendships you can make. All those likes can measure the fun we have together. When we're in the moment, everything is better. Side by side, on this adventure, our friendship will never, ever end. Side by side, best is forever. We know that it's more than just a <laughs> Spike! This is how it should Yeah, where is Spike in this one? Eh. Oh. Oh. That was great. 
Yeah, another one by written by Nick Comfalon. Okay. Hmm, what a good message in there. I need to give this a rewatch and let this settle in a bit. I will be right back with my thoughts on this. Stay tuned. Okay, well, classic case of jealousy amongst friends. This is an interesting one. And it's actually kind of a great problem for Applejack to have. Um, you know, it, it did feel a little bit like it kind of came out of nowhere, but at the same time, it doesn't really feel like a forced character flaw on her. It, it's believable that she would be jealous in a situation like this. Um, you know, so un, unlike with some past episodes with Applejack where new character flaws were very forced and made no sense whatsoever, like Applejack's Day Off, which I'm not going to go back into again right now. Uh, but yeah, and I think this is actually the the first like real honest Applejack focused storyline we've had in Equestria Girls. So this is really cool, uh, really cool to see. I've got a lot of notes here. I'm gonna try and get through this uh, reasonably quickly. <laughs> um, okay, right off the bat, we start with some interesting compromises amongst friends. Uh, AJ and Rarity obviously were planning to spend the summer together, selling caramel apples at this new theme park. Uh, Rarity was a little apprehensive on this because selling food isn't really her forte, but she was willing to give it her best shot because she wanted to spend time with her friend. And maybe she also didn't have any other job opportunities even lined up, but that's kind of beside the point. The fact is that Rarity was going out of her way to spend time with her best friend. So, compromise on her part. Then all of a sudden, this huge costume design opportunity landed right in front of her. A chance at a career move that she's been dreaming about, dreaming about since apparently preschool. And uh, and then Applejack didn't even get the Caramel Apple job at all. And had also already quit her other job, which was already uh, filled by bulk biceps, which was strange, but whatever, beside the point. Um, so, yeah, uh, obviously Applejack was unhappy with the entire situation because everything had just gone all completely topsy-turvy. Uh, and obviously she and Rarity wouldn't... Uh, probably get to spend much time together this summer like they were originally planning. But she was understanding of the situation and supported her friend in this new opportunity despite being left out. So, you know, kind of compromise on her part and major kudos to her for, you know, having strength to actually be supportive in that moment. You know, and that, this in my mind is a great example of how friends should treat each other when life throws unexpected twists and turns your way. Uh, but then, of course, there's the jealousy, the as jealousy aspect, which I will get to in a moment. Uh, now, just to be clear, I don't fault Rarity at all for taking the job, and I applaud the fact that she was mindful of her promise to Applejack and wouldn't accept the job unless AJ had actually approved of her doing so. So that was a, a good distinction there. Uh, you know, she just didn't up and dump her, you know, with no warning. Also, later on, I noted that Rarity was thoughtful enough to at least get her friends' VIP passes to the opening day at the park. Uh, so, you know, she's obviously still, you know, thinking about them at that point. And, uh, and Applejack was, you know, she was clearly still uh, frustrated by the fact that Rarity had kind of ruined their summer plans by taking this job. You know, I was muttering about, like, you know, if, if this had been me, I wouldn't have taken the job. But, you know, at least she made the effort to say to everyone that the main reason they're there is, like, we can have fun, but the, really what we're here for is to support Rarity and help her however we can. Now, uh, interestingly, it's actually kind of almost a little bit of ulterior motive at that point because it's more like, oh, excuse to spend time with her even though everything is all different now and she is looking for ways to try and help. And, I mean, honestly, it would have been good for them to help and I think Rarity should have accommodated that. Um, they could have been helpful, but she was just too, already too um, caught up in everything to think too much about that. And obviously things kind of started going downhill at that point there. I mean, to, well, actually to begin with, Applejack, we had Applejack's revelation that Rarity has a new best friend at the park, namely her boss, Vignette Valencia, who is a huge name in the world of fashion and social media. So superstar power with Rarity. You know, I, I, don't, I really don't blame Rarity for being starstruck over a vignette, but that is certainly no excuse for her to completely forget about Applejack while doing introductions of her friends to Vignette. Like I said, I can already hear the Applejack is best background human jokes and whatever. Uh, and then, yeah, she got, Rarity got so busy and stressed out with the insane deadline for the parade that she just ended up focusing entirely on herself and her own dreams and worries and stuff and ended up showing very little concern for her friends. And I don't think it 
was that she wasn't concerned. It was just she wasn't even allowing herself enough time to properly assess the situation and see if there was reasonable cause for concern or not. And, you know, that she wasn't entirely wrong with saying that the park is a big place and the, you know, these friends could have easily gotten separated by accident and lost and whatever, you know, just like she said. Uh, of course, I would question why they weren't using their cell phones to track each other down and stuff, and then cell phones weren't working, and it's just, yeah, all kinds of logical debate there that I'm not going to go into right now. But that, that aside, there's also uh, Applejack's clear uh, jealousy of Vignette, which wasn't sitting well with Rarity, and given that Rarity was still very much you know in starstruck mode over Vignette, it's easy to see why she would be so dismissive of Applejack. That said, she should have known that Applejack does not lie, even when she's mad. And given that she's her best friend, Rarity should have at least given her the benefit of the doubt. Uh, you know, just like Sunset, uh, Twilight, and Pinky did once Rarity had stormed off. You know, and even after AJ failed to prove Vignette's involvement, the fact was that Fluttershy and Rainbow Dash were still missing, and Rarity should have been at least somewhat concerned about that. But she is just too caught up in the stress of the job and the you know her being angry at Applejack over being jealous and all that and she just wasn't thinking clearly at that point so uh, you know and I'm not excusing it I'm just saying that's you know why that that happened so you know it's really just in a nutshell Rarity was simply too focused on her work and she forgot about what was truly important namely her friends not to mention her spirit of generosity I really don't think she was just, like, blindly craving fame or anything like, like Vignette. I mean, at least hadn't gotten to that point yet. You know, Rarity just wants to share her passion for beauty with the world, and this was one of the best opportunities she's ever had to do just that. The thing is, this was only one of many opportunities she will likely have for this in the future, and had something truly bad actually happened to her friends, or anyone else for that matter, all because she was too caught up in her own world to see it, she probably would have never forgiven herself for that, knowing she could have prevented it if she had just been paying attention. And, and as for Applejack, you know, she's certainly not without fault here either. You know, she made some mistakes. Uh, you know, it's true that she was very jealous, uh, and while it turned out that she had good reason to be suspicious of Vignette, Vignette could have just as easily been innocent despite being a jerk. In, in which case Applejack's accusations would have come across as entirely unfounded, at least until the point where she got solid proof to confirm her suspicions, like, like we saw. You know, I mean, ultimately she could have ended up ruining this opportunity for Rarity for no good reason, and I don't think she would have felt too good about doing that, especially after she first supported her in it, you know, then it's just because she got jealous and she's looking for fault and then just ruined things for her, that would not have been good. And I, I do have to say, I don't think it's wrong to, to be jealous, or at least not just to experience you know, feelings of jealousy. That's a natural emotion that we all deal with many times in our, in, in our lives. The problem is how you deal with that emotion, and to deal with it, you have to first be honest with yourself and admit that you are indeed jealous, and then have to figure out why you're jealous and, and deal with that problem. If you don't figure that out and deal with it, then jealousy can lead to anger, and anger can lead to a lot of actions that you may end up regretting. You know, at the beginning of this, and as I mentioned, it seemed to me that uh, that Applejack was jealous of the fact that Rarity got the opportunity while she herself was just left out in the cold. But I felt like at least initially she was handling it pretty well. You know, she was reasonably supportive with Rarity despite all of that. But then when she saw Rarity with the new best friend and, you know, got blown off the introductions and all that stuff, obviously the jealousy flared up. And uh, so, of course, when Fluttershy disappeared after being last seen with Vignette, and it was kind of natural to suspect that Vignette at least knew something about it. Uh, from AJ's perspective, I mean, we could see what was going on, but from AJ's perspective, you know, it, it, it made sense to be a little suspicious, but, you know, she's... Given her state of mind, it was kind of too easy to just jump right to the conclusion that she was directly responsible. You know, I mean, it, at least subconsciously at that point, Applejack was probably wanting to find any reason to find fault with her since she was responsible for ruining her summer plans with Rarity. Now, to her credit, Applejack did, uh, you know, start to wonder if she was being too suspicious of Vignette, you know, for that reason, just thinking, you know, I was like, am I just wanting to see things here for the wrong reasons that aren't actually there? 
But of course, then she did end up finding the hard evidence in the form of the security monitors and stuff. She saw a vignette doing the the phone zap thing. Um, uh, but then when she confronted Rarity, she did not handle that in a very good way at all, which just further escalated the situation. Well, first she failed to actually present the proof, like, hey, come over here and look at these security monitors. I, I can show you the footage here and stuff. I mean, none of that got brought up. Instead, she uh, was just failing to uh, prove it with the phone because Vignette switched the phones. And then she ended up saying some very mean things, very hurtful things to Rarity. Like, you know, you're not special. Now, obviously, she did not mean that the way that it came out. But she was too heated up emotionally and did not uh, think about what she was saying. She was just too careless with her words and it just did not work out well. If she had not been so jealous of Rarity, she probably could have approached that situation in a much more calm and level-headed manner. And it, I, I think that's more AJ's default mode, if you will. She tends to be pretty level-headed and, and calm on, on things, I think for the most part. Obviously there are ca cases, even in FIM, where she gets emotionally invested in something and goes a little bonkers but for the most part she tends to be pretty um, pretty level-headed on this stuff um but yeah if, if she had just been more upfront with rarity about her feelings about the whole thing with the job situation in the first place then maybe rarity would have been a little bit more mindful about that and could have taken steps to make sure that things didn't go the this way you know i said well maybe you can help out with the, this fashion stuff or you know something or other i don't know it's always hard to hard to imagine what you know would have been. We only know what did happen. But anyway, the basically the takeaways here are uh, number one: don't lose sight of what's truly important in your life. Every just every time a new opportunity comes along, because it may not be what you think it is, or just may not work out very well. And you know you will need the support of your friends no matter what. That is more. I mean, opportunities are important, but so are your friends. You can't forget about that. And secondly, you've got to be honest with yourself and your friends as, as uh, you know, as poor, poor communication can so very easily cause hurt feelings and potentially even end friendships. I mean, it's that that's part of honesty. Sometimes it's not that you're saying something that isn't true. It's that you're not saying something that needs to be communicated and that lack of of sharing is you know can lead to trouble which is basically what we saw here so there's more lesson more or less uh, as for vignette uh vignette okay i you know i can understand the position she's in you know i mean everyone everyone wants to be successful okay you know and, and a lot of people out there think that fame and recognition and whatever is the the true measure of success in life and especially in this age of social media this is a trap that a lot of people fall into. Vin Vignette is no exception. Uh, unfortunately, in her quest to get likes and followers and establish herself, she did not stay true to herself. Her entire life, well, she just basically just became what she thought the world wanted her to be. You know, and her, and as a result, her entire life is basically just a, a facade. It's just one big act. And is, while she has fame and popularity, she doesn't actually have any meaningful friendships whatsoever. It's kind of a very empty life <laughs> in all honesty you know as a, people most likely only follow her because she's popular or because they think that associating themselves with her will give them a path to their own fame now that's not to say that there aren't people out there who are you know super famous that you know have tons of followers and yada 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 who are still good people and great friends you know fame in and of itself isn't necessarily a bad thing it's what you compromise on in your own life to get it and what you do with it once you have it that shows what kind of a person that you truly are you know if you completely sell yourself out just to get fame then and then just use it as a power trip to mistreat others in order to continue getting what you want that is wrong and that is the category that vignette appears to fall into you know applejack wasn't really wrong when she said that vignette was was evil either you know, as evidence for this, I submit the, uh, for your consideration the fact that Vignette had no idea what happened to the things or people that she was zapping away with her phone, and even suggested that perhaps they simply get erased from existence while not really caring, you know, one way or the other what happened to them. I mean, that, that's cold. <laughs> 
you know, all, all she really cared about is just if she was getting what she wanted. And then furthermore, she also admitted that she is basically just using Rarity to steal her ideas for the for the parade and then take all the, the recognition for it. You know, as uh, somebody that has absolutely zero empathy for the well-being of others, especially those who are put in harm's way as the results of her own actions, you know, it's pretty hard to describe that person is not as evil. <laughs> and that, that's it, that, that is just stone cold, in my opinion. You know, and now at least at the end, she admitted the fact that, you know, she really had no friends, no real friends to speak of amongst her, like, three million or so followers, you know, and I and she said that she was pretty pathetic for for being in that position. And I, I do appreciate the fact that Rarity and AJ did extend you know the hand of friendship to her, but she didn't really seem very sorry for anything that she had done up to that point. You know, it's almost more of a you know I'm sorry I got caught kind of thing. And is we weren't given any backstory for her to explain like how she got to this point or why or, or whatever. Um, you know, I. I I think it may have actually been better in this case to just leave things as they were, just, you know, have her storm off mad and, move, you know, like, I'm done with this, I'm going on to the next big thing now, you know, kind of like uh, Sven, you know, the way things were left with uh, Sven Gallup in the main attraction back in Season 5 of FIM. I think that would have made a little bit more sense at this point. It just, you know, I, I don't have a problem with Vinette turning over Leaf and, and you know, get some real friends and stuff, that, that's great. I mean, there, there needs to be a compelling reason for that change to happen, and we just didn't really get time for that in this story and you know, so overall this reformation just felt extremely rushed and this is basically the weakest antagonist we've had as of yet in equestria girls you know i i realized that the story wasn't about her the story was about rarity and applejack and their little you know, friendship spat and stuff i get that you know the vignette was more of basically just a plot device but i just kind of wish we'd done something with her beyond you know the the ever popular villain reformation just you know do something a little bit more original you know in some of these i think that would be a good move oh uh, moving on from that the white room i i'm sorry i i just have to i have to talk about this i I understand not everything in these stories needs to make logical sense. I get that. You know, it's just some things, it's just, it's entertainment value. It's, it, it is what it is. You know, it, I mean, it's, it's fun to poke at it, but don't take it too seriously. I get that. But certain things push me a little too far. And this was one of them. Because this room made no sense whatsoever. For starters, why is there a completely empty building in the middle of a busy theme park? Like, every square inch of that place should be allocated for something. I mean, that room should have been used for storage, if nothing else. You know, and, and given that there were obviously walls in this place and, and a door, it's like, couldn't they see the outline of the door to know there was a door there and try to, you know, kick down or bang on it, call for help, something? You know, clearly the room was lighted inside. Couldn't they see that, you know, there's a light source, you know, lights on the ceiling, like, this is a normal room, not some other place that they're in, uh, like the internet or some other dimension or whatever? Uh, this, is, this is the one that really gets me. If Applejack could hear Twilight through the wall in the middle of a noisy theme park, why couldn't the the, the the others inside the room hear all the noise from the theme park while they were stuck in there and, and therefore know that they were still in the theme park and try to get out of there? I mean, it's just thin walls. The sound goes both ways through thin walls. I'm just saying. Uh, and then, of course, if Twilight was able to use her phone in there, then why were Applejack's earlier calls to Fluttershy just going to voicemail after she got zapped there? I mean, yeah, okay, maybe Fluttershy's phone had a dead battery or something. I mean, there's ways you can explain it, but it's it's awfully convenient, and it's never explained. No explanation is offered. Uh, it's just all too convenient, you know? It's like the, the phones. It's like they're there when it's convenient, and they're just magically ignored when they're not. I... And, you know, and, of course, what even linked this particular location, this room, to the app on the phone as a teleport location in the first place? That was never explained either. So, I, unfortunately, i got to say, like, this is one of the most poorly thought-out plot devices I've seen. At this point, I'm just kind of, like, laughing at how utterly absurd it is. And just, you know, it's like, okay, it is what it is. It's there because it needs to be moving on. <laughs> That's where it is. It really makes me kind of wonder if... There was something more to this, and because of script rewrites or time constraints or something, it got changed and just left out. I mean, I think it would have been far more interesting to actually have them in, like, the digital world of her phone or the internet or something, but maybe they just didn't have enough time to explain how to get them out of there or something. I 
I don't know. It doesn't really matter at this point. It just this is one of those things where it's like this is such a an egregious error of logic. I'm just like, why? <laughs> but anyway, I don't need to dwell on that. It's not worth it. Moving on. Equestria Land itself. Okay, serious question. How much does the general population actually know about Equestria in, in this world? Remember, nobody in this world except Sunset Shimmer has ever stepped foot in Equestria, and before Princess Twilight appeared in EG1, they didn't even know Equestria existed, despite the fact that they got all this other stuff in the world, like, you know, all these horse puns, Canterlot, Wonder Colts, Power Ponies, etc. You know, okay, the Dazzlings are there, they know about it too, but they haven't exactly been advertising it, and we haven't seen anything of them since Rainbow Rocks. It's actually kind of too bad they didn't appear in the background somewhere in this special as cameos, but, ah, uh, well. But, yeah, as for, for the attractions, you know, they mentioned Appaloosa. Does Appaloosa exist in this world? Presumably. Um, possibly, but then they had the Nightmare Moon Haunted House. Do they have, does this world have its own legend about Nightmare Moon? I mean, as far as we can tell, Principal Luna doesn't have anything to do with this. Uh, it's just kind of like question mark. And, you know, and then, well, of course, they're not off, thrown off by the Adagio Siren Parade costume. At least that sort of makes sense, because Rarity was in charge of the costumes at that point. Maybe that was her design. She's obviously seen that form. Why was that in the parade in the first place? Doesn't really make any sense. Nor does the fact that it was just the one and not all three of them. But, uh, whatever. Details. Um... Oh, and then, and then there's the, even the fact that Vignette didn't seem all that phased when uh, Rarity said that it was Equestrian Magic in her phone. Like, that, it was no big shock to her. She's like, oh, that's cool. So, like, is, is the population more aware of this stuff? And, you know, given everything that's happened in this world, it's not that difficult to imagine that some of this knowledge has spread. But knowledge of the existence of magic does not equate to knowledge of places and people in Equestria itself. Well, and furthermore, it's noted at the at the end here that you know, social media was buzzing about the laser show that was the rainbow rainbows ponying up and uh, you know, destroying a vignette's phone, which suggests that the general population is still largely not aware of equestrian magic, and they're just rationalizing all these unbelievable things they're seeing into logical explanations, like oh, this was just all special effects or whatever. So overall, I'm just very confused as to the level of awareness of equestrian magic and other stuff in the eg world and you know like how this theme park even came into existence in the first place you know given the similarities between the worlds i'm kind of wondering you know is there some sort of ongoing magical connection between these two worlds that's giving a certain level of subconscious awareness of things that they shouldn't otherwise know about um you know, maybe it's just the mere presence of equestrian magic in this world starting all the way back when star swirl started dumping stuff over here that you know is is caused all these anomalies if if you will you know on, on that note kind of side note here i would really love enjoy seeing a future special in, in, in equestria girls here where star swirl crosses over from equestria to come see what a what a mess he's made in this world by putting magic in there and then also uh that would be the perfect opportunity i think to bring the dazzlings back because they could have a confrontation with him since she, he he was the one to banish them there in the first place so and they're not actually reformed yet either they just ran away so that could be fun but, but yeah anyway um I, I just think it'd be nice to get some kind of world building at some point in here that better establishes the current level of equestrian awareness in this world and you know influence of magic on this world like why do we have all these source funds and stuff again some of the stuff doesn't necessarily need to be explained but it would be kind of nice to hear something at some point so, but all that said, you know, the theme park in and of itself is really cool and all, and, you know, as I mentioned in the reactions, a pretty funny jab at Disneyland and, you know, or other Disney theme parks, whatever. Alright, I'm um, running a little long here, but uh, just some quick side notes about some of these characters. Um, a lot of interesting little character growth things, even like Slice of Life type stuff here, you know, Fluttershy and Rainbow Dash. How on earth does Fluttershy fare better on a roller coaster than Rainbow Dash? <laughs> You know, after all, uh, the pony Rainbow Dash couldn't wait to ride the roller coaster in Lost Pegasus. And, you know, definitely doesn't have a problem with flights, obviously, being a Pegasus and whatnot. But that said, these characters in EG are different than their pony counterparts. They're younger, for one thing. I mean, they're basically, they're in high school, whereas their pony counterparts are adults. And they, obviously, they haven't had all the same experiences and whatnot. Um, you know, this version of Rainbow Dash doesn't always have her wings available, and she hasn't been flying up to crazy heights and stuff, at least not that we've seen. 
So, you know, maybe she is, finds heights a little bit dizzying, something, just something she hasn't encountered yet. And also, you know, even though she's, you know, kind of a daredevil and whatever, she's generally more in control of her actions. Whereas here, you know, I can speak from experience. When you're in a roller coaster, you're just strapped in and hanging on for dear life. You're at the mercy of the ride. And so it's maybe just a new experience that she hadn't gone through before. I'm sure she'll get past it quickly. The real surprise is the fact that Fluttershy enjoyed the roller coaster as much as she did. You know, I, I have no problem with this. It just surprised me. And, and, and this is the thing I love about Fluttershy. You know, there, there's so many things about her that we don't know. You know, traits that we just tend not to see often or at all because of how shy and timid she tends to be. And so when when we do get to see these new sides of Fluttershy, it's just it's it's so much fun. It just you know keeps expanding her character more and more and making things interesting. So and for Sunset Shimmer, wow, she does not like to lose. <laughs> I mean, this makes sense. I mean, you know, given what we've seen of her, especially back when she was evil and whatnot. I mean, she's a very determined individual, but. I just I really haven't seen her quite this focused on anything that isn't like a fate of the world type situation. And, you know, of course, it, it really wasn't that big of a deal and she shouldn't have needed to win that badly. She should have walked away from it earlier. Yeah, maybe this is, I mean, I'm glad she finally won, granted, but maybe this is kind of a character flaw we'll see her need to work on at some point where, you know, she needs to learn when it's appropriate to walk away from something and not always be the winner. You know, you don't have to win in everything. So that could be a fun future story there. Uh, oh, I gotta say too, the this uh, carnival game thing is really the perfect use of Flim and Flam in this world. So good job on that. As for Twilight, I uh, loved seeing her geek out in this in this special. You know, trying to science the the ring toss game was was awesome, and so was her trying to to hack Vignette's cell phone. I, I gotta say, for the techno babble that that went into that, that what she was saying was actually halfway as legitimate. So I, I applaud the writers for uh, taking your time to try and make that actually make sense. That normally is just absurdities, but that was awesome. Um, that, that aside, though, it's fun to just see her get out and, you know, and enjoy some time out in the sun in a social setting. You know, it's, it's really not often that neither Twilight nor Sunset are the focus of one of these storylines here in, in the EG world. So, the, you know, the fact that they weren't in this case allowed to, us to get some fun little slice of life moments with them there. It's hard to get otherwise. Um, and as for Pinky, Pinky definitely had some strange moments in this one, even, even for her, <laughs> I felt like. Like, the, this, the eating, about to eat that candied apple or caramel apple or whatever that she took out of the trash like why but you know obviously her role in this special is just you know basically just comic relief but it did work pretty well you know she's goofy but not obnoxiously so you know did well to support others in her own strange way when when needed like when she gave applejack the the deputy fun inspector badge and whatnot but i mean big is just just a fun character in, in this one overall but there's just certain things that she does and it seems to happen Almost more with the the EG version, the pony version. So I'm just kind of like, hmm. But again, these are different versions of these characters, so it's kind of fun to see and play with these these variances. So yeah, that's all the notes I got. Got to wrap this one up. Um, great special overall. It it really was. You know, the, the story with Applejack and and Rarity was was fantastic. Um, I can't remember if I said this already, but I, I think this is. The, the first time we've actually gotten like an Applejack oriented storyline in EG so that's that fun to see um, so I just wish they'd done a little bit more with vignette made that a little bit more believable even if she wasn't the the primary focus of this but it you know it's not as good as, as forgotten friendship I mean it is gonna be crazy hard to beat forgotten friendship which is like my most favorite piece of EG content to date. Uh, that I've waited for that story so long and it was just perfect and yeah it's gonna be tough to beat that one but this was still very good uh, very very fun story so definitely looking forward to seeing more of these in the future and hey as as long as uh, Equestria Girls keeps going um, it's always the hope of that uh, that Star Soul crossover so we'll see but thanks for watching with you everyone hope you enjoy this and until the next one have a good have a good night everyone <laughs>